Our goals are quite high actually. Um, we've been working really hard. We made big steps forward from our first year to second year. So coming to our third season, I'm hoping to you know obviously improve on that. Uh, we got a podium last year, pole position, but. I feel like we missed a few opportunities, so I'm hoping to sort of redeem ourselves this year and hopefully get a few wins and be battling for the championship. Yeah, obviously the biggest difference is, uh, you know, the, the, I mean, the whole car is different between the iType 2 and iType 3. Whole new battery, whole new look for, for Formula E, the new, a new identity for Formula E, which will sort of, you know, um, have a unique look for, for, for the series. Um, obviously the biggest difference is obviously the battery life and, and the performance from the battery. We've got up another 50 kilowatts in terms of outright power, more torque, um, and obviously the volume of the battery is almost doubled, so that's really, really impressive to see. From the outside, it looks a lot different. You've got the halo, which obviously you can see in Formula 1. Um, you know, obviously the, the wheels are covered, uh, sort of in between like a single seater and prototype. So uh, yeah, I think it looks really cool. And hopefully on track, it looks, uh, looks, looks good for the fans. So um, yeah, there's a lot different. But um, yeah, hopefully we can uh, you know, use the new rules, new, new regulations to our advantage and, and really hit the ground running when, it, when we come to the first race in Saudi Arabia. I think going to Saudi Arabia for the first time is very, very uh, important actually for the image of the championship. It shows they're making changes as well in their own culture. Um, so that's, that's going to be exciting. Uh, I think uh, Sanya in China, I've, I actually never heard of it before. So um, that's a great thing about Formula E, you know, it puts these type of cities um, and countries sort of on the map and, and um, yeah, I mean I really hope to have a race in, in, in New Zealand sometime soon, that would be amazing, uh, which I know people working behind the scenes um, quite heavily to make that happen. So um, yeah, there's two new additions to the championship, but I'm really looking forward to going back to the likes of Paris, Rome, New York City, Mexico City, I mean that's just to name a few, so uh, yeah, another exciting calendar ahead. Yeah, well, we, we we went through a hard time, you know, when we when we first came into the championship, having you know um, two years less of experience of, compared to our competitors. Obviously, they're going to find that coming into um, you know when they come into the championship, uh, you know, with, with HWA, which will be a brand of Mercedes coming into uh, to next season. Um, then obviously Porsche the following season. So yeah, it's it's I mean every manufacturer is going to have to go through it. Um, it's just meant, you know it's all about just being prepared as possible, being realistic. We were very realistic in our first um, first season back in 2016-17. Uh, so, but now we're in a position where we can really, you know, got the experience to then fight fight the other manufacturers now. So, uh, yeah, it's tough to begin with because it's such a unique type of racing. But um, you got to go through that sort of storm stormy period to uh, obviously uh, hopefully see a bit of champagne and trophies at the end of it.